Baraka the Yahweh, Baraka the Yahweh Shai, Kol Haloyim La, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakudash. That's all praises to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, in the Holy Spirit. Yahweh is the true name of our Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, which is the Savior and the Redeemer for the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. The Rakai Kodash is the Holy Spirit. As always, double honors to our apostles at Great Millstone that are teaching this truth, that taught us this truth, and who are ruling well through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashemel To the rest of you, Akim, that are laboring to push this truth and that are hazarding your lives to do so, magnifying and praising the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, peace be unto you as well. To the rest of you believers, you Akim, you few Akwathium, you children that believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh with all your heart, mind, body, and spirit, and are waiting for these last and final prophecies to happen in the earth and the return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. Peace be unto you in Shalom. Yesterday, all right, through the Holy Spirit, you know, I came across this article, which is from themedium.com. You know, I was going to Google to search for something and this article was there you know so it was like an alley-oop through the holy spirit and i'm glad because you know i was searching for you know different topic topics you know to get into to do uh, video lessons on you know so this was like an alley-oop through the spirit which is dealing with you know the brain computer interface which they call bci you know or bmi which is the what? It is the the MOTB. What is the MOTB? It is the mark of the beast. Okay. Which this is the form that will go into your mind. And as much as technology is increasing, that's what time we're living in. We're living in a time where technology is increasing. Okay, it has increased. So this will be a form of what is known as a yoke, but it's digital. It's a digital yoke. And what would the MOTB serve as? It would serve as a digital yoke. It would serve as an instrument, you know, to put the world in bondage under the rich elites, which are Amalek, which come out of full out of Esau, Edom, because that's who's ruling over the world today. And what they want to do is. This will be an answer that they believe, will, this is something that they believe will be an answer to all of their problems. One, the answer to Israel and the covenant that they have between the Heavenly Father. They believe that through this, they'll be able to break that. They believe that through this, they'll be able to live longer. They believe that through this, that they'll be able to gain control over the whole world and to be like uh, uh, the Heavenly Father. But all of it is gonna fail. Now, when it comes down to particular groups, they'll tell you, oh, well, the, the, the reason it says right hand is because the right hand is your strength. It's what you support things with, you know, or in the mind, because it's what you believe. It's what you what you worship, you know, so they'll they'll lead you on to believe that, you know, the MOTB is is, is actually sin. You know, or is actually the worshiping of, of an actual image, an image of Sejere Borgia, but you're going the hell off. And that's the reason why, we, you know, you're constantly warned, constantly warned, you know, that you need to be mindful because there's false prophets that are out there that are uh, uh, misleading the people. You know, now some of them can be doing it in sincerity. You know, thinking that they're saying the right thing, but you're still wrong. Like Apostle Tahar says, you could be sincere, but you can still be wrong. Now, let's kick this off with this. And then eventually we're going to read something out of the, um, the um, article. This is the book of... Um, Second Peter's two and one, it says, but there were false prophets among you, among Salaki, also among the people, 
even as there should be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. So those that are teaching, you know, the false breakdowns, you know, the false, uh, uh, putting out false prophecies, you know, putting out false teachings, you know, these are, are, are the false prophets. These are the false teachers. And eventually, what are they going to do? Bring upon themselves uh, uh, swift destruction, as well as those that they're teaching that are misled by them. Because the scripture says, let the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall in the ditch. The book of 1 John 4 and 1, it says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of Yahweh, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. You know, you have other others besides a particular group that believes that it's, it's dealing with worship. You got a, um, an, another group that said that it was philosophy, you know, which they're misconstruing, you know, and getting wrong with the image of the uh, the image of the beast is with what the MOTB is. So what the image of the beast is, they'll, they'll say that that is the MOTB, which there's a system, a government system that Esau is, uh, uh, is using to rule the world. And that system is based off of ancient Rome. So if you don't bow down basically to their image as, as, as um, you know, like bowing the knee to Baal, you know, to accept their decrees, to accept their, their um, way of life, their culture, their philosophy, all right, their, their, their laws, particular, particular laws, all right, that are set up, then basically what they'll do is shut you out. So that's what the image of the beast is. The image of the beast is this system, but this system is set up after... To, to resemble that of ancient Rome, okay? Now, the actual MOTB will be a device. It will be a physical thing that is put inside of those that are willing to receive it. And if you take it, then that show as Mr. Postman. However, these... False prophets will lead you to believe that you can repent or you can take the MOTB, the RFID CHIP or the brain CHIP and that you can repent with the Heavenly Father from doing so. All right, which you can't. So the reason that they're getting wrong is ultimately because, you know, they don't have the Holy Spirit. You know, to make that discernment, when you go into the book of John, the 14th chapter, verse 23, it says, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, if a man love me, he will keep my words and my father will love him and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. And first of all, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai isn't going to come and make their abode with somebody that's using the name Christ. All right. If you're using that, 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 uh, and I'm sorry, I said name that title Christ. If you're calling Yahweh Shai by that title Christ, all right, he's not going to come and make his abode with you. If you're using the name Jesus, you're not going to have the, uh, um, the heavenly father, Yahweh or his son, Yahweh Shai make their abode with you. Because ultimately when they make their abode with you, what is happening? Their Holy Spirit is entering into you. The word for abode in Greek is G3438, which is Monet. And it's, it says a metaphor of the God, the Holy Spirit, and dwelling believers. So the Holy Spirit isn't going to make its residence with you. Okay? It's not going to uh, um, be inside of you. It's not going to be inside of your mind, which is needful for you to interpret these scriptures the correct way for you to break down these scriptures the correct way for you to know the breakdown of the prophecies in the scriptures and this is why a particular group always 
gets it wrong when it comes down to these important prophecies that you have to get accurate. So in the article, it reads, it says brain computer interfaces, the next step in human evolution. Now, I don't know how old this article is. It just says November 18th, you know, so uh, given by some information that they gave in here, you know, it could have possibly been published somewhere around uh, 2019 or 2020. But there's a part within this article that really stands out. And it's this. It says one of the dreams is that BCIs will eventually place the entire canon of human knowledge within the realm of immediate recall. No more searching the Internet via typing or voice commands needed. In the near future, we will be able to think about what we need and pull whatever relevant information is available directly from a cloud and into the forefront of our minds. See, and this is uh, uh, something that Elon Musk is trying to do through his Neuralink or Neuralink technology. He wants to have a, a cloud, you know, full of data, you know, of, of information that is accessible that you can just download and pull into your mind. All right. Um, uh, uh, Yuval Noah Harari speaks about this. You know, we have the computing data, you know, to be able to do, you know, these particular things. This is what their goal is. So this right here should let you know exactly what it means when it says in their right hand or in their forehead, in their right hand or in their forehead, because in your forehead, which is your mind, they want to put a brain CHIP in there. And with that brain CHIP, you'll have access to things like this. All right, you'll be able to do things like this, but there's a duality to it. Because when it comes down to that particular kind of technology, they let you know, yeah, it could be hacked. We, hey, we let you know it could be hacked. And who are going to be the ones hacking it? It's going to be them. All right. Ultimately, you're going to if you take that thing in your mind, you're going to be like the movie Cell. All right. All all y'all metaphorically are going to be marching around a cell phone tower like you've seen those uh, those sheep. All right. In, in, in the video, you know, in all of these different animals around the world, herds of animals marching in circles. Well, that's the kind of, you know, um. That's the kind of power that Esau wants over you to be able to control you. So why in the hell would you go forward and taking it? And you got Israelite teachers, you know, that are not telling their congregation not to take it. They're not telling them not to take it. They're not saying, oh, look, this is Esau's, you know, uh, uh, technology. All right, if, if you take it, you shouldn't because the scriptures say not to make a covenant with the heathen. But what they'll say is, no, it's the MOTB isn't the microchip. It's philosophy. It's, it's, the, it's the white woman. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's worshiping. But they never really clearly give you a true understanding of what it is. Or they never really clearly tell you not to deal with it because it is coming from Esau Edom. You had individuals like uh, uh, General Yohanna when it came down to, you know, the soy sauce juice. That basically he was telling his, his people to go ahead and get it. You even had uh, uh, Nate that told his people to go ahead and get it. And what did they do? They dropped dead. So ultimately, th their, their um, credibility should be stained in the regard of the advice that they give. But you have a blunt, bunch of blind sheep that are out there. And that's the reason that when this thing really goes down, your congregation is going to be the first that turn on you and whoop your ass, man. Now, going to the book of Revelation 13 and 16, it says, And he caused all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a M-A-R-K in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the M-A-R-K, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name, here is wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. 
for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and six. Now, the reason that I read it all the way through is just so that we can we can read it, you know, which we're supposed to be familiar with this anyway. This is a re relevant prophecy. So just to read it through clear so that we can know exactly what we're dealing with. Now we're going to go back and we're going to pick out particular words. Like for an example, when it says in the cause of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive an M.A.R.K. in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, what he said was, he said the right hand represents strength. Look, this is the reason why you go into words, man. Don't let these guys make you feel as if you can't go in, in, into the, the Hebrew or you can't go into the Greek. It says right there within the prologue of Sirach that the same things uttered in Hebrew have not the same strength when they're translated into other languages. So this is the reason that we go into words, all right, so that you can get a better understanding. The right hand, when you go into the word uh, uh, decome, right, which uh, you have the word uh, dexios, if I'm not mistaken, but then you have the root word of that, which is uh, decome, you know, and it says to receive or grant access to a visitor, not to refuse intercourse or friendship. So basically, when you take that thing, you're entering into a covenant with Esau Enum. You're entering into a covenant with him. All right. And the scripture says not to make a covenant with the heathen. Now, it doesn't matter. Where you receive it, you can get it in anywhere in your body. It doesn't just have to be the right hand. It can also be in your head. It can also be in your foot. It can be in your thigh. It can be in your butt cheek. It don't matter where you get it. All right, you have made a covenant with this devil, and therefore you have turned your back on your how and your how shy. Therefore, you're worthy to be what? To be destroyed. When you go into the word for forehead, the word there is metapon, and it says the space between the eyes, the forehead. So really it's dealing with your mind, but the root word of metapon is the word meta, which means with, after, behind. But really the word means beyond. Because when you take this CHIP into your brain, it's going to take you beyond the, the, the normal capabilities of a regular human. As you can see, you're going to be like a computer. Why? Because you're going to have that, that computer brain interface. All right. You have uh, access to, to technology, which we don't need that because we have the Holy Spirit. From Yahweh Bashmi Shai. Back in the article, it says one of the dreams of the BCI will eventually place the entire canon of human knowledge within the realm of immediate recall. No more searching the internet via typing or voice commands needed. In the near future, we will be able to think about what we need and pull whatever relevant information is available directly from a cloud and into the forefront of our minds. Where did it say? The forefront of our minds. So what comes to mind? Meta. Meta. Which you have um, the company Meta, which was formerly known as Facebook. But now they're dealing with, um, you know, AR technology. They're dealing with virtual reality. They're dealing with virtual reality rooms and stuff like that. This is what they're trying to do through their BCI, all right, which is the brain CHIP, which is the, the, the MOTB. So can you imagine, you know, uh, uh, living in a society that's like Demolition Man, you know, or the, or the Lawnmower Man? <laughs> This is what Esau is trying to create in the real realm. Now, if you had the Holy Spirit dealing with you, you'll be able to break that down. All right. You'll be able to go to Revelation, the 13th chapter and many other scriptures. But dealing with this one, because this is the relevant prophecy that that's, you know, uh, happening. That's very important to know. The word Mark goes into what? The word Karagma, which means what? A thing inserted. And why are they inserting it? For recognition of ownership. The word karagma, um, it says right here in the strong definition, a scratch or etching, 
an example of stench, uh, stamp as a badge of servitude. See? A stamp as a badge of servitude. So the, the karagma will be the device. But however, if you take their device, which is the karagma, then they can easily put their philosophy into your mind. So for anyone that, that believe that the MOTB is philosophy, look, you're wrong. The MOTB is the brain CHIP. However, if you take the brain CHIP, they can easily put their philosophy into your mind. <laughs> so anyways, going down, because it says, here is wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of the, the B-E-A-S-T. I spelled it out for you. Now, when you go into the word wisdom, wisdom is dealing with what? Sophia. All right. It says broad and full of intelligence, use of the knowledge of a very diverse matters. So if you had the Holy Spirit, you will be uh, you will have that intelligence and you will have the knowledge of very diverse matters to be able to go into this the scripture. The, the, um, the volume of the book and to be able to break it down. Why? Because Yahweh and Yahweh Shai have made their abode with you. So therefore you will have the understanding that's necessary to break down prophecies and get it right. All right. Matter of fact, <laughs> this is a uh, wisdom of Solomon eight and eight. If a man desire much experience, she know of things of old and conjecture or write what is to come. She know of the subtility of speeches and can expound dark sentences and foresee of signs and wonders and events and seasons and times. See? So this is what happened if Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai sends his Holy Spirit inside of you. And you'll be blessed with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Now, one of the things that it mentioned in there was conjecture. What is conjecture? An opinion or conclusion formed on the basis of an incomplete information. Form an opinion or uh, su supposition about something on the basis of incomplete information. So that's just one uh, uh, definition of conjecture. Now, when you break it apart, the word con means together and the word uh, jecture goes to jasir in Latin, which means to throw. You know, so you putting together or throwing things together in thoughts that um, that are the truth. You know, it's like putting the puzzle together. So this is what happened when the Holy Spirit makes his abode with you. But you can tell when the Holy Spirit isn't really dealing with somebody because they'll break things down the incorrect way. Now, when you go into the word for understanding, all right, the word there is noose. It says the mind comprising the like the faculties of perceiving and understanding those of uh, feelings, judging, determining. It says the intellectual faculty, the understanding, reason in the narrow sense as the capacity for spiritual truth, the higher powers of the soul, the faculty of perceiving divine things of recognizing goodness and hating evil. So obviously the MOTB is an evil thing. Although Yahweh Bashmiyahu Shai put it in the mind of these rulers to push into the earth. All right, he is being pushed for a great test, for the time of the great testing. Now it says, reason in the narrow sense as the capacity for spiritual truth. All right? So when you go into the scriptures, it says in 1 Corinthians 2 and 14, it says, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolish unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. So see, these particular things are spiritually discerned. All right. The Holy Spirit has to be dealing with you in order to break things down the correct way. And there's a lot of things that, you know, uh, uh, these other groups outside of Great Millstone, beginning with our apostles and elders, they go into and they get it wrong. All right. And this happens to be one of them. And this is a very important thing that you must get right. All right. What is the MOTB? The MOTB is the brain CHIP and the RFID CHIP. And you're seeing the system 
get set up right before your very eyes. You get, you're seeing it get set up right before your very eyes. And the time is going to come that many of you being deceived may take it. But then later on, you're going to realize that you took the MOTB and that's going to make you angry at the people, you know, that's misled you. But it's your fault, too, because you've been already warned. Look, the warning has went out. And this is one of them. You know, add this to it. This is one of the warnings to let you know what it is. And if you take it, all right, Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to destroy you. So with that, I truly hope that this lesson was edifying or praises out of and glory be unto Yahweh Bashim Shai. Double honors to our apostles, our elders at Great Millstone that taught us this truth and who rule well through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Peace, love, salutation, and mercy be unto you, Akim, that are out there laboring to push this truth. To magnify and praise the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And to the rest of you believers, you Akim, you Fiyakwatim, and you children, peace be unto you. And Shalom, Kwam Bakayam, and Ababa Ba. Shalom.